Welcome to our channel, English with NS. Hi guys, hope you are fine. In this video, we will learn about subject verb agreement. To understand this, first we need to learn about subject and verb. Subject of a sentence is the person, thing, or idea that the sentence is about. It is the word or group of words that performs the action. For example, in a sentence, Mary ate an apple. The subject is, Mary. Action words are called verbs. For example, run, jump, and, ate. For details about verbs, I am attaching a link in description of a complete playlist of parts of speech in which you can go through about main verbs, its types and modal verbs. Based on point of view, a subject can be divided into three categories. First, second, and third persons. First person includes I and we. Second person includes you. Third person includes he, she, it, they. To learn in detail about point of view, open the link above. Based on count, a subject can be singular or plural. After building a background, let's come towards today's topic. Subject verb agreement. Subject verb agreement is a grammatical rule which states that the verb used in a sentence must agree with the subject of the sentence in terms of number. In other words, if the subject of the sentence is singular, the verb used with it must also be singular, and if the subject is plural, the verb must also be plural. For example, she walks to school every day, the subject, she, is singular, so the verb, walks, is also singular. In the sentence, they walk to school every day, the subject, they, is plural, so the verb, walk, is also plural. Now we will discuss, some of the rules for subject-verb agreement. Rule number one is, singular subject takes a singular verb, and a plural subject takes a plural verb. For example, the dog barks. It has a singular subject, so is a singular verb. They bark. Here, subject is plural. So, the verb is also plural. If the subject is a compound subject, joined by and use a plural verb to learn about compound subject open the link above tom and jerry are friends here tom and jerry is a compound subject and are is a plural verb if the subject is a compound subject joined by or or nor the verb agrees with the subject, closer to it. Neither the dog nor the cats are hungry. In this example, dog is a singular, and, cats, are plural. Because, the subject cats, is closer to the verb, are, we use plural verb. When the subject is a collective noun like, team, class, or family, use a singular verb, if the group is considered as a whole. Use a plural verb, if the individuals in the group are acting separately. For example, the family is going on vacation. Here, the family is a unit. So we use a singular verb. The family are arguing about where to go on vacation. The individuals in the family are acting separately, so, we use, plural verb. When the subject is a noun, 
that is always plural, like, scissors, glasses, or, pants, use a plural verb. The scissors are not sharp. When the subject is an indefinite pronoun, like, everyone, someone, or, nobody, use a singular verb. Nobody likes to be criticized. When the subject is a singular noun, that ends in s, use a singular or plural verb, depending on, whether the word refers to a single entity, or multiple entities. For example, the species is endangered, it refers to a single entity. The species are diverse, it refers to multiple entities. In this video, we have discussed about, subject, verb, and mainly about, subject-verb agreement, and some basic rules of it. In our next video, we will learn a new topic. Until then, goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please like, subscribe and also press the bell icon. Plus, don't forget to comment and share.